Hello everyone and welcome back to more Legend of Dragoon. Today we're going to be going into Danau. We're going to be taking the Queen's Fury ship. Um, if you don't remember how to get there, you're just going from Fletz into the Barrens. Um, and you're going to take the path on the right this time and that's going to bring you back to the Flower City. So let's go on in. And if you don't recall, this is also where we met Meru. I'm just going to go straight to the Queen's Fury. Which I believe was located back over here. There it is. Is this a ship? Kongal is excited. This bigger than me. So, this is the Queen's Fury. You must be Dart. Yes, I am. And you? My name is Kayla. I'm a crew member on the Queen Fury. I'm getting the Commodore now. Commodore, Commodore Pooler. Dart and his friends are here. What, Kayla? Be quiet. A man of the sh sea should have a big heart. Sometimes you listen to the waves and cast your dreams to the ocean. This is a man's romance. Commodore, Dart and his friends are here. You got an order from the king, didn't you, sir? Oh, you are the brave young people who routed the bandits. You deserve to be guests on my ship, the Queen Fury. Thank you, but we don't want to be treated as guests. We have the same objective to pursue Lennis. Hmm, I like that. We are ready to go, sir. I see. Now the only thing left is for you to board. As soon as you are ready, we will hit the ocean. I'm ready. Ready as I'll ever be. Let's do it. We have been waiting for you. Are you ready to go? Yes. Now let's set sail. Many things have happened. I was put in jail. Dark came to rescue me. We were with Lavitz. And now we are here, pursuing Lloyd. There's so many things I don't understand. Moon that never sets. The voice of Viraj. I wish I could fly like you guys. But it doesn't take me anywhere. Dar will laugh at me. Start. I wonder where he went. All right, so now we have a series of gathering up our crew. We have to go and find Dart. Let's go into the main part of the ship. And I believe he is upstairs. So let's go take a look. I've also got two Stardusts to collect on the ship. There he is. Hi, Dart. Dart? When humans go to sea, there is a lot to think about. Friendship, love, life, and romance. Probably Dart's heart is wandering in the Mother Ocean. Such a scary face. You must be thinking about the black monster. Oh, Shanna, is something wrong? 
I have been thinking too about the past and future and about you and me. You and me. Eventually, our journey will end. Yes, eventually, but I wonder where we will be. I want to be next to you, Dart. But nobody knows about the future. Love and sailing are alike. If you don't swim against the waves and just enjoy it, you will overcome it. Thinking alone is sometimes good, but sometimes, when you listen to others, your way will open up. I like Puller. He's funny. The Black Monster. I still don't know anything about it. Maybe Rose might know something about it. All right, well, before we do that, I'm going to go and collect our two Stardusts. All right, guys, so our first Stardust is located here in the docking area. We're going to go right over here to this pipe. And we found our Stardust. Our second Stardust is located down here inside the boiler room. If you go over here to where this lantern sitting on top of this box is, and you press A, we'll find the Stardust. And just so you guys know where we're at, I'm gonna continue on by going back to where we were um, so we can find Rose. So if you go up here, you'll be back in a familiar area. We're basically just gonna go right back up where we left off. Rose is way up on the lookout's nest. The crow's nest. Going up. There you are, Rose. I'm gonna keep going up. Let's see what Rose has to say. Here you are. May I help you? It's about the black monster. I thought you might know something about it, Rose. That's right. You were traveling just for that. Unfortunately, I have nothing to tell you. Oh. What are you going to do about, to do when you catch the black monster? What are you going to do with him? Kill him to avenge your parents? That'll satisfy your feelings? Revenge does not generate anything. That's what I learned from Lavitz. To tell you the truth, I don't know what I'm going to do, or even what I want to do when I face the black monster. I just want to know what he is. I see. Well, I can tell you one thing. Do you know what is the source of the power of dragoons? War is not in human nature. Humans fight by making themselves enter insanity. It is the same for revenge. This is a tool to amplify the insanity, and this insanity is the source of the power of dragoons, the Dragon Knight. I didn't know that. Someday, something will happen. And if you cannot chasten your insanity, I wonder if you will be able to endure it, given the size of your spirit. Sorry, it was just nonsense. It's okay. When I finish with Lloyd, I'll go on my journey to pursue the black monster. When I face him, I'll find my own answers to that. And down we go. Mine is not a journey. I'll take a walk for a change. So now 
or in control of Rose. chat with Hashel. Are you thinking about something? Oh, Rose, do you want to talk about your love? I was just walking around and happened to be here. Can I ask you one thing? Sure. You, why are you with us? I heard that in the beginning it was Dart's Dragoon Spirit. It seems that's not all. I guess. Maybe this journey is just a little break for me. Break. Well, everybody has different objectives on the journey. But you, you look like you're rush, rushing yourself to death with your life being run by something. It's none of your business. I guess I was involved too much. I cannot make judgments about other people. Got a little bit of a scene with Hashel. Ta! Claire, your steps during the attack are slow. Take more precise, faster steps. Yes, Father. You idiot! During the training, don't think of me as your father. Call me Master. I am sorry, Master. Claire, you, my daughter, were the only heir to our ancestral rogue school martial art. Yeah! Claire, you cannot take over the rogue school with such pathetic skills. You implanted a murderous intention in your fist, didn't you? Oh, Loda, what's wrong? Loda, what's wrong? Oh, Loda. Get out of my sight. Loda, get out of my sight. Getting a little bit of Hashel backstory. I shouted out of anger. I was just running away from the pain that we have to overcome together as a master and as a father. It's been 20 years since I left the village pursuing Claire, but what I have found was only my immaturity. As time goes by, I forget the objectives of my journey. But Dart and the others gave me a new one. I think what I am going through now is a journey to support the passion of young Dart and his friends. Oops, oops, I have become too mushy. Well, maybe I'll go tease Kongle. I hope he is not knocked out with seasickness. And Kongle is located down in the boiler room. Uh, which is where we get our second Stardust. So we're going to go down there and find him. Here you are, Kongle. What are you doing alone? 
Kongal always alone. You are not now. Friends, I still don't know. Kongal is here to see if you become leader instead of Emperor Dole. Dole. It was your objective for the journey, wasn't it? Hmm. Then why don't you talk to Albert? He might know something about Dole's story from the past. Alright, so now we need to go and find Lavitz, King of Human. can't remember exactly which room he's in, but he's in one of these. Might be this one. There he is. Human King Albert. Kongle wants talk. What is friends? Dart said, Kongle friend. Kongle don't know. What is friend? My Uncle Dole was your friend, wasn't he? No. I fight for Emperor Dole. To make a world where all the species equal. Maybe we can put, put it this way. Maybe friends are the people who walk the same road. People who walk together, but not led by somebody, who share happiness and pain. That is friends? Yes, that is us now. Although we have different objectives, we are walking side by side. Kongal, you are already walking on the same road as us. Boring. Anybody want to hang out with me? It's thanks to those girls I can continue to walk on this road. Now, I'm going to socialize with my friends, too. Let's go find Meru. She's in another one of these rooms. Not this one. Let's try another one. There she is. You are having fun as always. I gotcha! Big success! Let's have a little chat. It's an awful welcome. Hey, Al! You were a bit too squarish. You gotta become cool like Dart. Are you mad now? No, but I now have a question. Wow! The exciting question time? Meru, when you joined us, you said, there's still something I can help with. Is that true? Um, let me see. I don't know why, but I really feel that way. It's true. But I don't know what it is. You are not just kidding, it seems. Our journey is a dangerous one. We will not be able to succeed if we take a lack lackadaxical attitude towards it. It's a weird word. Therefore, I wanted to make sure one more time, I don't want to see anybody else dying. Now, please excuse me. Whatever, the king became too serious. Now is my big chance to hang out with Dart. Let's go and find Dart once again. This bit's a little tedious. It's part of the game. I think he's still upstairs. There he is. 
a wild dart appeared. Thinking about something? I know. <laughs> what do you think it is? Who? Of course, it's Meru. Wow, how did you know? There's nobody else who does such pranks. I guess so. Well, I have great news for somebody who looks totally bored. Why don't you come with me on an adventure on this ship? I've already seen a lot. Hey, you were thinking about Shanna, weren't you? If she sees you walking with a pretty girl like me, she would get mad, wouldn't she? Shanna doesn't get mad about those things. What's with this adventure suddenly? Well, there's something bothering me. Don't you think Rose is strange? She is strange, but I don't think she is as strange as you. I'm not talking about that strange. I think she has something that she hasn't told us. Or she has been involved in something shadier. Have you told us everything about you, Meru? I'm the exception. Don't talk bad about your friends. Everybody has something that they need to hide. Sorry. I don't mean to talk bad about Rose, but she's cold to me. So somehow... Then you want a change of pace with an adventure? That's my dart. You are totally cool. Come on, now departing on Meru's expedition. Meru's expedition, huh? All right. I believe we need to go and talk to Shanna. So let's go find her. Before we talk to her, let's snag a save. At this point, you want to make sure you've collected all the stardust that you want on this boat which there are only two, and I showed you where they are, so make sure you get those. What are the two of you doing? Mara wants to have an adventure, and she is dragging me around. Hey, excuse me. You are the one who is following me around. Well, that's it. <laughs> Good luck. You guys are not so nice. Are you coming with us? I'll be here for a while. There's fresh air here. Okay, finish talking. Let's get going. Darn. Dart always wants to talk to Shannon. You're toying with me now. All right, let's go and talk to Rose now. She's gonna be up on the crow's nest again. All the way to the top. Almost done with this bit. Don't play a plank prank on her. She doesn't understand jokes. I won't. 
Rose has a mysterious personality. She's always cold, but when it comes to a critical point, she leads us in a variety of ways. We are alive now because of Rose. I agree. doesn't look menacing or anything. <laughs>